next question is from Malibu Banks. After doing deadlifts, how do you know if you're just really sore if your form wasn't correct and might have caused a small injury? Okay, so soreness versus mm -hmm. injury. You know, when I used to hear this from clients, I used to always kind of scratch my head like, how do you know? Yeah. How do you not know the difference? It's kind of obvious. But then I realized that people just aren't in their bodies, right? If you don't exercise a lot. Yeah, you, it's a new stimulus. Yes, and, I, and you see this with kids a lot. When I do certain exercises with my kids, they and they get sore. Like my daughter will wake up and she'll be like, you know, call me from her room and I'll be like, what's the matter? She's like, I hurt my legs. Yeah. And I'll be like, you hurt your legs. And I'll be like, show me where it hurts. And then I'll move her around. And I'll be like, you're sore, honey. Like she yeah. doesn't know the difference between soreness and pain. So I can kind of get that. All right. So soreness is in the muscle. Pain and it's in the muscle and you don't see lots of inflammation. You don't see uh, discoloration. And uh, it doesn't cause uh, major dysfunction, typically, right? You can get super sore to the point where that, where that happens, in which case I would consider that almost an injury. Injuries you typically feel in the joints. So if you're doing deadlifts, you might get some soreness in the muscles that run up and down the spine. You might get some soreness in your hips. You might get some soreness in your forearms. But you shouldn't have pain in the spine, in the actual yeah. spine or in the hip joint. That's typically uh, where you're you're either injured or you're about to get injured. Well, on to just like uh, more of a shooting pain, like more of a you know, electricity almost, where it's like you start to move in a direction and then <clears throat> you, it, it limits you and it inhibits like the the movement uh, completely to where you have to kind of sit down. You have to adjust what you're normally doing to where you, you you really can't pull it off. I would say that that's something that you know is more towards the injury spectrum. Uh, but yeah, it's funny because a lot of times too people get sore in stabilizing muscles and they and it's it's hard to distinguish like right. what that is right <laughs> it's even happened to me one time where i'm like oh my god it's my kidney or my liver or something and it's <laughs> yeah. just like my oblique yeah. you know like i haven't had a, a sore oblique or a sore ql and it's just uh you know they did something where they twisted or rotated it and their their body had to really brace really hard and they didn't realize typically too uh, an injury will uh either get worse over time and or will take a long time mm. uh, where soreness will get progressively better, right? So like if you get sore and you feel really, really sore, typically, sometimes day two of being sore is really bad, right? But normally day three, day four, day five, day six, every day you feel progressively better yes. when you're sore. Mm -hmm. um, many times when you're, you've injured something, you've strained a, a ligament or your, your joints are hurting so that it will, it will hang around much longer and sometimes even get... And it doesn't worse. feel better when you move it. That's, yes. a, that's a big one. If you're sore, you can move the muscle and that's right. feel you, a lot better. Injury, right. you move it, it feels worse. Right, like, yeah. like you were using your, your daughter, for example. Like if her, her legs are hurting because they're sore and you were to put her in like, and you stretched her for a good 20 minutes, she would feel better after right. that. So if you, if, you get, if you stretch or do yoga or do mobility and it seems to make whatever wherever you feel feel better good chance that that soreness if it feels worse when you're doing stuff like that be careful it could be in injury